Ike is the security administrator at a large organization that handles sensitive financial data. Recently, the organization has become increasingly concerned about the risk of data breaches and the potential consequences they could face. In this demo, we'll be showcasing how Ike configures the risk-based application blocking, or what we also call the closed-loop remediation feature of the Sky High SSE platform. Data security is a crucial aspect of any organization's cloud strategy, and as part of securing an organization's cloud usage, it's essential to attribute risk to cloud applications. Sky High SSE has long had the ability to see what applications are in use and show various risk attributes for those services. Sky High SSE can directly action risky applications in the web policy, so let's take a look at this feature. Service groups allow cloud applications to be categorized into groups for service governance purposes. You can build a service group based on the risk score of cloud services that can help enforce security policies. Here we can see Ike has created a service group called Legal Risk that uses an automatic assignment rule to group all cloud applications where the IP ownership policy is owned by the service provider. This would mean that any intellectual property data uploaded to an application in this group now falls under the ownership of the cloud service provider, a definite risk to any organization. Ike also does a search for SourceForge in the cloud registry. The Sky High Cloud Registry provides a comprehensive database of 30,000 SaaS, infrastructure, and platform services with detailed information about each cloud service using 55 attributes that comprise the form of a cloud trust rating or risk score. So here, Ike is confirming that SourceForge belongs to his legal risk service group and further drills into the application details to see more information around the 55 risk attributes which span multiple categories including data, user device, service, business, and legal. To prevent any users from accessing any applications that are classified as legal risk, Ike implements a web policy to ensure that all legal risk applications are blocked. With Sky High's SSE web policy, any defined service group can be implemented in a policy to take action. Additionally, Ike also has a service group called Breach Services, which groups all services that have been reported a breach within the last 30 days. He's configured the web policy such that if any users access any of these apps, they will be presented with a coaching or warning page but still allow the user to click through and access the file. So now, if any user in Ike's organization were to access a legal risk application like SourceForge, they should immediately get a block page. Similarly, if the user were to access a site that may have been breached recently, rather than just getting blocked, they are presented with a coaching or warning page for them to review, but they still have the option to click through and proceed after taking the warning. In this case, the user attempted to go to Reddit, they read the warning, and they clicked through to the site. Risk-based application blocking and coaching is a critical component of a security service edge solution. It helps organizations enforce their acceptable use policies and prevent employees from accessing unsanctioned websites that could compromise the organization's security. By using Sky High SSC, organizations can proactively monitor and manage employee web activity, identify potential security risks, and improve their overall security posture. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo.